Okay, let's talk about four traps to avoid when you are first starting your career. When it comes to managing your personal finances, this is brand new. What do you need to know to look out for? I have this perfect list here to get you aware of four different things. Let's run through it. The first thing that you need to know uh, as we kind of talk about this list as well is that you are entering a new phase of your life and you're experiencing a lot of changes, but also a lot of changes that are all happening at once. And many of those are related to your finances. You're forced to make a number of financial decisions right out of school. Some of these are gonna feel like big decisions or feel foreign. Some of them will feel pretty small or innocent, but they might actually have much bigger impacts down the road than, than you realize, than the average person realizes at first. So you wanna be aware that sometimes you might even make a decision that you thought there was only one choice, but there was actually two or three choices out there that you could have chose, but no one really told you you're actually making a decision. You just sort of went with the flow of what you thought was standard. But if you can avoid these four things, you'll be able to save more, make more, and prevent huge financial headaches down the road. The first one, starting to spend money without a plan. Here's the thing, you've got a salary now, or you will soon, awesome. But what do you wanna accomplish with that income? Really pause and think about that. You wanna start tracking your income and give every dollar a purpose. The purpose could be fun, the purpose could be paying off debt, but you need some kind of plan for every dollar that you earn. The next thing that you wanna avoid is assuming that you can't negotiate your salary. Here's the thing, if you're still on the hunt for the perfect job, or maybe you've been working for a little bit and maybe it's time to ask for a raise, no one tells you this while you're in school, but salaries are negotiable. Statistically, if you ask for a raise or ask for better when you get a job offer, you are likely to receive at least something. So this is normal and it does work. Don't miss this major opportunity to boost the number one thing that is gonna be your income, right? Is your salary from your job. Third, don't assume that your student loan payment plan, whatever you're on is the best. You need to choose this intentionally. Many people don't really know what plan they're on. They just kind of assume it's probably fine. This is a bad assumption. Being on a plan that's not the, not the best fit for your situation can literally, literally cost you tens of thousands of dollars. This is based on the experience of my clients who I dug into them with, uh, dug into this topic with, uh, and reviewed this. So you need to review your options and look at your entire financial picture to determine what is the best way for you to be paying back these loans. A coach can help you with this. Number four, getting a credit card without fully understanding it. Credit cards are like fire, and believe me, they burn a lot of people really badly. This is one that can feel like a, a non-decision, feel really insignificant to start using one um, for a lot of people, but they realize down the road, shoot, that was actually a huge moment in my life because it led to years of credit card debt, and now I'm trying to clean that up, and it's so hard to clean up. Totally doable, but it's a lot easier to stay out of it in the first place. If you don't completely understand the terms, the impacts, and the risks associated with using a credit card, don't use one. Instead, get educated, use a debit card, and build healthy cash flow planning habits first. The last thing to think about uh, as, you, as you look at these traps is that saving yourself this headache down the road is gonna be so worth it. My clients will tell me, I'm so glad I got this figured out at the age of 20, 25, because now I know I'm not gonna wind up like insert family member here who they saw not figured out until it was too late and now is in a whole bunch of trouble. I hear things like that all the time. So my question for you is which of these traps do you need to focus on avoiding? If you want help navigating through this, I'm a financial coach, I'd be happy to spend some time with you. I do free discovery sessions and we can chat through your specific situation.